Okay, let's see how this looks, because... Yeah, it's... It's not terrible, like... I don't hate this, but like... I feel... I feel like the... The added bloom kind of makes this a bit much. <laughs> like, it looked great in the original. I don't think it needs to really, like, go this far with, like, the visuals here. It's... There's, there can be a thing as, like, being too much in the eyes when it comes to, like, visuals and whatnot. But yeah, I, I feel like if they just got, if they just toned down the, the bloom, um, this game would look a lot better, I think. Which I think modders have already done that for the Steam, not Steam, but like the PC version, and it does look a lot better, so it's like... I don't understand the massive u overuse of Bloom here. It's like a give and take, really, this game. It's like... In, in, a, in a lot of ways it is better than the original, but in other ways it's just... It's kind of con Like, there, there are just some elements that are just confusing. Maybe not always necessarily... Maybe not necessarily bad. But, like, there's just elements that are just weird. And could have gone for a bit more quality assurance, if you will. Yeah, it doesn't look... It doesn't look bad. It's just... Tone down the bloom, for God's sake. And got the motor bugs, which get like have like they they've got like a massive speed boost compared to what they usually are like. Because like the the motor bugs in this game are primarily used for these uh oh good, um for these like quick like quick like these quick step sections where like you have to like quick step into them to just uh, to kill them. And some of them give you boost energy. Um yeah. Not much to really say about them, they just kind of speak for themselves, really. But it's, it's at least something to do while you're on these, like, um, sections of the levels, which usually wouldn't really be, like, doing much. Although I do, I, I don't, I don't want to keep jacking off uh, Unleashed, but I do prefer how that game does it with those sections, where, like, you're boosting into the robots to uh, launch, oh god. Um, to launch them into like the flyer robots in the in the sky, uh, I feel like that's more engaging than um, like the the quick step sections in this game. But no, I, I I appreciate it for the I appreciate it for like you know giving you something to do and like I do appreciate it for not just being a copy of like unleashed kind of stuff like, like those kinds of unleashed sections like. Um, I, I'm always down for more originality, so, you know. And yeah, we got the... Oh my god. I'm not used to these controls! God. I keep making, like, random errors. And I'm not gonna be able to... Oh wait. Hold on. I can... Hey! I keep... I keep on wanting to press R1. <laughs> God. The indoor, this indoor section doesn't look half bad, though. I will say that. I, I do think this looks pretty good. Just go on these, on these crushes. It has been a little while since I played the uh, colors in general, so. Yeah, Starlight Carnival has always been like one of the most impressive levels, like visually, because just seeing that being run on the Wii with like no frame drops or anything is it's pretty. It, 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 that's a sight to behold, if, if anything. Not really one of my favorite levels to play, but visually it's definitely one of the best. One of the best.
I mean, if I had to, I, I will say this, in terms of like, the levels in this game, I don't really, I don't, there's not really a level in this game I actively dislike. There's definitely, uh, like, individual acts that I don't like as much as other ones, but I can't really think of any stages I actively dislike in this game, which I wouldn't say it necessarily reaches the highs of, like, SA2 Heroes or Unleashed or um, other games and whatnot, but it definitely has... Well, it, I'd say that Colors is probably one of the most consistently good Sonic games. Maybe not one of the most consistently, like, amazing ones, but definitely, I feel like it's one of the most consistent ones where you're you're always going to have at least a, a pretty good time. So, the, that's definitely... That's definitely um, a good... Definitely uh, a good thing, I'd say. And... I mean, in terms of, like... The environments, visuals, and like the general um, premise of the game. It's I would de in terms of all that. I would definitely say it's one of my favorite Sonic games. Like I, I love the idea of a, a amusement park in space with all these like alien creatures giving you special powers and um, all this stuff. Like I, I love the concept of this game. Um, in terms of like the level design and. All that I do think I do think it's pretty solid overall. Then, um, yeah, it's just not. I just wouldn't I, I wouldn't put it above like other games that I mentioned and whatnot. Like again, it, it's one of the most consistently good sort of games, but I wouldn't I I wouldn't say it's like I, I don't know I. I wouldn't say it's like as good as some of my like favorites, but it's it it, it would definitely be like it's still definitely like up there as one of the one of the good ones. And I did I have spent a I I do remember spending a lot of time playing through like OG colors, so I I do yeah okay yeah that. <laughs> That's a, also an animation that got completely bought and um, had a lot of, I've seen a lot of clips of that one, yeah, that, yeah, that's unfortunate. Yeah, this, this game just needed more playtesting or, not even, no, not even playtesting, just a little, it just needed like, maybe just a few mo more months of quality assurance. I guess a better way to say it is like, I, this is one of my favourite Sonic games in terms of visuals and like the concepts, but in terms of level design, while I still think it's pretty great, um, I don't think it's as great as like other Sonic games, so I think, I think that might be a better way to put it. Cause yeah, the, I know a lot of people have an issue with this yellow spring for example, which like there's like, good. Uh, there are a few instances where uh, you have to platform with this yellow spring. I don't mind it too much, uh, but I I can understand it being a bit much. Well, maybe not a bit much, but like like being a bit too slow for some people. But, you know, I don't mind it. I like. I really, really like the yellow spring level in Aquarium Park. I think, I think that level has pretty good level design with it. Cause it like, I mean, we'll get to it, but it's slower platforming than like a regular stage for sure. But oh, uh, <laughs> it, it, but it also has a bunch of collectibles and whatnot that you need to be quick to grab, and it feels like you're always doing something in that stage. Whereas, yeah, I, admittedly in this like. You do, you can grab rings and these coins and whatnot as you're climbing up, but there is like some waiting going, there's like waiting going on, especially if you don't care about those collectibles for whatever reason. So, so you, I definitely understand why you, some people aren't super thrilled about the yellow spring and why. Oh my God. Ugh. Okay, they just. 
They are <laughs> retroactively made that more difficult by putting that coin there. Okay. More weird stuff going on with this. Yeah. Was, can you like... Can I like light speed dash with this thing? Or do I just... Okay. That feels like I'm supposed to use the... Okay, I, I'm just gonna ignore that. Not always the most intuitively designed from the best West, but yeah. Yeah. Nice. I don't think I don't think I really deserve that, <laughs> to be honest. Oh yeah, right, right, okay. I, okay, I feel like I kind of cheated that because the there's a trick in this game where if you get if if you use a tail save you'll, you go you'll go back to a different an earlier section but you'll still have the uh, your you'll, you'll still have all the points and stuff that you already had so you can just kind of and all the items will will um, reappear so you can just get all the all those items again and just kind of cheese the S rank like. I kind of feel dirty that I did that now. So, like, again, I I wish you could just turn the stupid tail save off. Oh my god. But I know there's like... Uh, some people will be like, oh, who cares? And it's like, easily ignorable. And for the most part, it is. But like, stuff like that where like, I, I cheesed the S rank, but I didn't want to. But I, I like completely forgot that was a thing. Like, that, that's I don't I don't want that. It's garbage. I'm not gonna cry over sport um, spilt milk. So yeah, and these disco orb things that chew out like energy glass. I guess it's also worth noting that this is like, I think the first game in a while since we've had the egg forms involved in it. It, it makes sense for them to be here because they, they were always one of the more cartoony, like, cartoony robot designs. And they also, and for this game they, for every level they have, uh, or every like zone, world, whatever you want to call them, um, they have different outfits and different kind of weapons and whatnot, which I think is pretty fun. It suits the aesthetic and the whole amusement park deal. So I'm definitely, I definitely approve of that. Yeah, I think the last was the last game they they were in before this, like Shadow, because <laughs> they, they they were not in 06 or Unleashed or. The, oh no 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 no! Uh, they were in the story. They were in Black Knight's legacy missions. I completely forgot about that. Actually, kind of. I think only the flying enemies were there. I don't think the actual eggborns were. I could be misremembering. <laughs> it's been a while. I mean, so these guys are new. I, I'm pretty sure these guys um, haven't been in the game before, Carlos. But they're basically just a reskinned version of those enemies from Unleashed. So it's like, they're not entirely unique, but they they are a new design, so... I guess one other thing to talk about is... Especially in, especially in recent years, I've heard a lot of people like... Uh, this is kind of going back to the whole like, level design thing, but... A lot of people talk about how the levels in this game are like really short, and while there are some levels, oh good, uh, while there are some levels that are like ridiculously short, I feel like if you go out of your way, how do I, how do I explain? Like, do this? Yeah. Right. <laughs> uh, I feel there are like some levels that do end relatively quickly, but if you're willing to go the extra mile, get like an S rank, or like get all the red rings, 
and like comb every inch of a level, you're gonna get a lot more out of it. And I feel like, again, I feel like the level design in this game, while not the best in this series by any stretch of the imagination, it's still pretty solid. And I feel like it's unfairly uh, criticized by a lot of people nowadays. To the point where some people say, oh, it's the same as Forces, and I'm just like, no? <laughs> Are you insane? <laughs> like, I'm not saying you have to like this game, but like, it is nowhere close to being as brainless or boring as like Forces tends to be. Like, come on, dude. There's nothing even remotely as cool in Forces as uh, Starlight Carnival. Like, come on. And then you got all this like platform you, you can just go ho use the hover to get up most of it quickly, but you can, if you want to, you can go up slowly, get a bunch of rings, fight more enemies and whatnot. And it's like, there are tons of different pathways, especially with the new Ghost Wish now. And yeah, I, I just don't see it, man. Like. I think the level design is in this in this game is great, honestly. Um, it could it be better? Sure, but like I can say that about like most games. Like it, can, most games can be better if you if you like uh, put more time into it. But like as it is, I don't know. I have I have no issues with colors as level design. Now that being said, um, the in recent years as well, it has been uh, found out that this game was, let, let's say, adjusted, I guess, because the original plan for what what it seems like was there was going to be like two acts per zone and then the boss, and presumably there'd be like extra acts, like, say like, Unleashed, how like, Unleashed had like, special, like, extra acts that you could play, um, that you could find in the hub worlds, and, like, how Generations had, like, the extra missions, um, Colors was probably gonna have something like that, and there are some instances where you can see, where you can, like, tell that a level was, like, cut in half, like, if you look, if you look back at, like, Sweet Mountain, for instance, Act 1 ends where Act 2 starts, and it's not, <laughs> they don't even try to hide it, and it's like, yeah, the, there's clearly, like, something that could change there, and while I, it would be really cool to see, like, have a version of the game that has, um, like, those original full levels in pad, like, the, I think there are, like, Generations mods for, like, a full Act 1 of Tropical Resort, where it goes, the original Act 1 was both Act 1 and 2 in, in like, one stage. And there's like a mod for Generations where you can see it be played as, like, just that. And like, that would be a really cool way to play through the game if, like, there was an official way to, not official, but like, if there was a way to play Colors itself in that kind of, uh, in that kind of way, that would be, that would be really cool. Um, cause like you can, I, I will say this, you can definitely see some of these, like, some of these axes padding because you do, for some of, you, you do go for like the same sections in some of them and it's just like with more, a, a bit more gimmicky platforming and whatnot, which definitely, huge. definitely screams like extra stage, <laughs> but Indeed yeah. I could. But I'm right here behind this I, I don't mind the That's structure it, of this Tom. game, but Stand you know, there and be a nice little it would it would it would have been de it definitely would have been interesting if it was just like the two acts and a boss, which is what the DS version does. So I guess there's that. Oh no! Buddy now. What a 
have you done to Ready for disappointment? Me? I did nothing at all. Unless shooting him with my mind control beam that runs on alien energy counts is doing something to him. Does it? <laughs> to get to me, you're going to have to go through your best friend. <laughs> this turned out much better than I could have hoped. And I only used a small prototype. Enjoy it while you can. Oh, I will. In fact, the only way to make this better would be to have you two fight. Come on, Tails. Snap out of it, dude. You don't want to do this. What the? Tails, buddy, are you all right? Huh? Where am I? Why is my nose hair tingling? Lousy, cheap alien energy. Ran out of juice. Well, I'll get more. Lots more. And then I won't just control one little punk, but the whole universe. In the meantime, enjoy the park. I'll leave you your own private tour guide. Yeah, oh man. It would have been really cool if we had like a rival fight with Tails or something. Here was but... a good idea. There it is, straight nah. from the horse's mouth. Uh, it's like, that, it's like why, why did we even bother with that? I guess it's like, just showing like, the, like, Eggman's goal is to like, uh, mind control people, but like, yeah. <laughs> it's like, there's like, a cool setup there, but there's no payoff. Yeah, there's, this is the, the, fir the third boss, and also, I haven't mentioned it yet, but this game basically has three types of bosses, not counting the final boss, I guess. There's the first boss, I think it's like, what was it, like, Rattatatron or something? Um, the, like, the, gi the giant will thing, you get, like, and then you get the second type of boss, like, for Sweet Mountain, and then there's the... The third type of boss, which is uh, probably my yeah, I, I definitely say this, this is my favorite type of boss in this game. It's more in line with like an unleashed boss as well, so like you're like chasing them and like they're chewing at you and all that. And once you get a uh, a wisp power, like you can like just shred through this through this guy. Definitely. I, I, I definitely say that this is these are like some of the more interesting bosses as well. Like they're a bit more they're a bit more challenging than the other ones. Um, yeah, a bit more going on. Damn it! And yeah, that should be it. Okay, I do like that. They they did an unleashed where like Sonic like taunts the boss at the end. I appreciate that. Okay. Stealing for a mind control weapon. Learn that one the hard way. Do we know how Eggman is getting all these aliens? Yeah, yeah. It's also wor worth noting that, like, the, this is the only time in the game that this hmm, you can do this, gassy. but Maybe the, smell would knock them out? the uh, depending on where you go first between right Sweet Mountain and Starlight right. Carnival, um, no the, these cutscenes will um, basically just have basically just have a different background because like. So, no burps. So you go to start like Carnival really first, and then you you'll have the. So I, I'm I'm explaining this word, but like, um, you know how I went to Sweet Mountain first and had like the cutscenes th that played out there. If I went to start like Carnival first instead, the cutscenes would play here instead, and then you'll have like Tails getting mind controlled and all that in Sweet Mountain instead. So it's a little nice detail. 
said there'd be math, but I'm with you, buddy. But we should get moving. Yakra says the aliens don't have much time. Once I start moving, I don't need much time. So where exactly do you run, do you run to? Because there's like no platform there. You just run off the edge and just kill yourself. <laughs> like what the heck? You will be full of energy I've siphoned from the aliens, and Sonic's world will be the center of my interplanetary theme park. They all reckon you'll be able to get yourself enough of that energy to take over the whole dang planet. Yes, I reckon I will. Where is your new voice chip? There's also yeah, there's the gag here with like. Cubot just having like different voices and stuff, which is fine. I this is probably the the gag I'm like the most uh, like actually on on board with. I, I don't I don't mind the voice the different voices too much. Yeah, they they have um I think. I think his like name was like Sass Thirty Eight or something in Unleashed, but it's basically all about here is basically just that robot, but with a, a paint a paint job. And you got Cubot now as well. I don't know if Orbot is meant to actually be the same robot as the one from Unleashed, but it's like you know close enough. It will be the crown jewel of my amusement park, the greatest amusement park in the universe. Oh, I think I gloated so hard I pulled a muscle. All right, and now we have uh, three more uh, levels that um, should open up now. Next stop. Next stop. Okay, I just want to stay quiet for the, this stage here because the the original okay the original Act One had like a very somber, uh, like melancholic kind of piece going on, and it fit the mood for this area because this is like an like the the, the Wisp's home planet being um, the under under construction in like this you know, like, factory kind of place. And it's meant to be, like, a... It, it's, but you're, you're meant to see, like, um, how the, this beauty's been just messed with and, like, the, the, the destruction that Eggman, like, do... It's... I'm having a hard time explaining this, but it's... You know how CD... Um, when you go to, when you go to the bad future, you see how... Eggman's forces um, screw things up, and it like you see how his technology just makes the the environment all screwed. Basically, it's it's a similar idea here, and like the music reflected that in the original. But yeah, play. Let, let's just play this, and you'll see what I mean by this remix doesn't exactly fit the mood. Yeah, it's like, on its own, the remix is fine, it's like, a bit over the top for me, honestly, but it's fine, but like, <laughs> when, when I think of Planet Wisp, I don't think dance, like, disco rave music or whatever, like, this is, this, this is meant to be like, it's supposed to be more somber, it's supposed to showcase like the the damage that Eggman has done to this place. It's not meant to be. Oh yeah, we <laughs> this, this place has been screwed over by technology. Let's do a dance. Yeah, <laughs> it's like that ruins the whole point of the song. Like, what, what are you doing? Good. Again, it's like the remix itself is fine. Like, it, it, if you listen to the the song as a like in a vacuum. 
like outside of the game is it's a totally to totally fine version of the theme but like when you hear it in relation to the actual game it's like what the hell ha what the hell happened here like this ain't planet wisp this is like a version of, of the this is like i don't know man I, I I don't even know what to call it. It's just kind of bizarre. I also didn't mean to do that. <laughs> yeah. See the anime. That also a weird colors ultimate thing. Like you saw Sonic just still had like the hanging animation, the like when he like jumped off of it or whatever. It, it's nothing game breaking or anything. Though. It's just kind of funny. <laughs> I would say, I, I definitely, I definitely say this level looks better than the original as well, like it's, this scene, out of the levels we've played so far, this, this level is probably the most faithful in terms of the, uh, the visuals, like, it basically just looks like a, like a, uh, slightly prettier version of the original, you know I mean, yeah, no, no complaints there. Oh, I actually got all the red rings, huh? Yeah, I wanna... How do I... Okay, I, I kinda wanna get up to the other gold ring, cause like... That's also... Uh, that wasn't in the original. Okay, no, that's... Okay, that's what that is, okay. I don't ent I don't know everything about what is new and what's old. To be, to be uh, quite honest. Ugh! I want to get up there. I'm wasting a lot of time doing this, but that's what it is. Uh, and I suck at life. Now, what, what is all this? So, eh. I mean, this is kind of cool. This is like new section here. Why can you not home this out there? Okay. Oh, of course. <laughs> I do not deserve that S. Oh my god. I guess it's, I think the tail save also doesn't reset your score either. Oh, actually, I think I already said that, never mind. Yeah, like, I I fell into the pit. It burns. But, like, <laughs> I don't deserve that S, S rank if I fall. Like, my god. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I do really like Planet Wisp. I... Okay. Yeah, th these remixes aren't really doing it for me. They're just kind of... The, the Planet Wisp ones are just kind of bizarre. Okay. What the? Okay, I guess I'm not get getting that then.
to go in this fallback. Oh, this is like the start of the stage, isn't it? Okay. Uh -oh. oh, wait, what? I'm just, this is, some of this stuff is just kind of fascinating to me. Oh, so this is how you get that. Okay. Now that makes sense. Yeah. Oh, cool. Alright. I do kind of like the padlock because it's a... Uh, makes it a bit more of a mystery of like what you're going to get, especially if you haven't played uh, colors before. Also, I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to do that. I'm pretty sure in the original that barrier, if you will, wasn't, like, isn't there, but... <laughs> That's a minor complaint, I guess. It's nothing major. Oh. I guess we're not getting those rings. Yeah, no, 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 oh my god. The one, yeah, the, the problem with, the one problem with the Ghost Whisper is that, um, like, sometimes you can accidentally do stuff like that and you have to wait for it to drain again. Okay. Is there any point in going up here? Probably not. No. I think I can use- I think I remember seeing that you can use the Ghost Quest for that. Again, I, I do appreciate, like, being able to explore these levels more. It's a whole new, uh, thing. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I'm stupid. This is, like, the normal end of the level. I just went a- Okay, I just went a completely different way. Alright. That is cool. It, the, yeah, the ghost, with, the ghost Wisp is a little bit wonky, but I, I do appreciate the fact that it does add new sections to the level. So, you know. Maybe not the most eloquently designed, but... <laughs> uh. It was Act Three. Oh, right, this stage. Okay, I remember now. <laughs> you have to excuse me. It has been a while, like I said. Are, are you good? Okay, this was like one instance where like, there was like massive slowdown in the original. Is that gonna be the case here? No, okay. Credit where it's due then, because yeah, in the original Wii version, after you use the laser wisp and kill all those enemies, there would be like massive slowdown, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Okay, I wanna... 
get hit by that by that enemy because I suck at gaming. <laughs> okay, no, I I wouldn't. Okay, I wouldn't. Damn it! No, no, no. Okay, this is what I want to do. Eh. Secret pathway that not a lot of people know about. <laughs> it's not much, but that is also in the original. Because like, I don't know if a lot of people know this, but if you bounce on enemies, you get like an insane amount of the uh, jump height, and that's like one of the instances where you actually need to do that to uh, get to an alternate path. So I don't know. I don't know if there's like other instances instances of that in the game where you need to use your like a bounce like bounce off an enemy to get to a different path but that is one instance where you do have to do that and it, it, it's pretty cool it's a very obscure um pathway that just kind of feels good to uh, know about <laughs> and now we actually have the original versions of like the planet wisp themes and you know quite frankly i like i like these a lot better Again, I'm probably I'm probably gonna primarily be using the original themes for what, what like when I play through this game like more in my own time. I'm probably just gonna use the original tracks. I guess with the good, great, awesome, outstanding, amazing thing, uh, it's bit they basically like had different versions of like the uh, quote time event from Unleashed in these like upcoming games like, th like this game it's basically you j basically just mash the jump button and it's like no <laughs> there's no real challenge involved it's basically just do the thing and then you'll get overwarded for it which is which is fine I do I do prefer like Unleashed's like quick time events because it's more it's more reaction based and it feels more rewarding. At least in my opinion, I there's I know I've heard a lot of complaints over the years over the um, quick time events on Unleashed, and they can get get pretty uh, strict, especially la later on. And I I know like not everyone's just down with quick time events in general, which is fine. I don't necessarily agree with it, but it, it's fine. Um, yeah, and in generations turns it into a trick system which if which um, doing it gives you more oops I did not want to restart the level um, gives you more boost it, like, the trick system in generations gives you like more boost and stuff which is which is nice uh, good well I didn't mean to show that off but that that's kind of stupid <laughs> If you hit retry, instead of like continue, it just counts as you not finishing the level up. That's great. I, I, I swear I didn't do that on purpose. I, I pressed R1 because I, for some reason I thought that was continue. Damn it. Oh well. I do like this level, so I mean, it, it could be worse. Just like climbing, like platforming up like a uh, a structure like this in a game, especially the platformer. I just can't get enough of stuff like this. Yeah. Yeah, it's worth noting that when platforms are like that, you can just use the boost and you'll be you usually you'll be fine. I know there's a red wing there, but you know, I'll go this way instead. Again, I'm not going for 100%. I'm just going. I'm just doing. Oh, good. <laughs> or I can just like not hit the uh, the the rail. That that also works. I guess I'm just going the regular way anyway. Okay. But yeah, again, I'm not planning on doing 100% or anything like that. I 
guess I'll get this. Oh! Oh my god! I don't know how I lived that. But I'll take it. Is that the same jump height as the original? I, it feels lower. I could be wrong. Press the right button this time. <laughs> you know, as alien as this place is, there's something very Eggmanish about it. I think he's transforming it somehow, making it part of his theme park. Attention guests, if you can hear this message, you are trespassing in an area still under renovation. If you are not a robot, please return to the main park areas and ignore anything evil you might have seen here. Thank you. It looks like the theme of his park is universal domination and the conquest of alien races. It's more than a theme, it's a reality. He's using them like some kind of living intergalactic gasoline. That's pretty low, even for a sleazeball like Eggman. Some displacement of indigenous aliens and destruction of natural resources may occur. Eggman Enterprise is not responsible. <laughs> hey, you getting any of that? Yeah, they're totally freaked out. It sounds like they're in shock because of public transportation and a loony nurse. Oh no, wait, scratch that. They're in shock because of their planet's strange transformation and having been dragged across the universe. Well, I still can't believe he kidnapped the whole planet. How does somebody do that? They're saying it was either ice cream or a tractor beam. Yeah, well, I'm going to guess it wasn't ice cream shooting out of those generators. Was, I mean, if, I if it's also, like, home. way across the universe as well, that's still, now, like, how would a track, how would exactly would a track to be, like, reach, like, a billion light years away or however far, um, uh, like, these planets are supposed to be? Like, that's also still a question, but I guess, game logic. <laughs> Who cares? Now we can go through this level normally, but where's the fun in that when you can go up with the rocket? Yeah, I feel, I feel like it would have been... It, it would have been such an easy fix if they just... had a mode where you just had regular lives instead of the tail saves and... All you would have had to do is just make sure... make it so... Tails icons are just Sonic heads instead, like that... Just... Yeah. <laughs> God. Yeah, I, I said all I needed to about the tail save, I, I don't know. I'm not gonna keep going on about that. This is, yeah, this is probably one of the most, uh, nothing levels so far, though. It's, uh, fine, but it's already over. <laughs> cool stuff. Thankfully, we have Act 6 coming up, which is a really good stage. Good. Yeah, the, I haven't mentioned it yet, but you have these added uh, rival rush stages, which I'm probably not going to bother doing because who cares? But it's not. It's it's basically you basically just go through the regular stage, but you have the, the Metal Sonic AI racing you, and the uh, the <laughs> UI for that stuff is just hilarious. Because, like, people made the joke, it's like, yeah, like, an ad. It's like, click here to find new, like, hot babes in your area. It's like, 
<laughs> it does kind of give off that vibe. Yeah, you can go to just the regular grind section, or you can skydive and get a, a red ring, which... Again, it doesn't get... This game doesn't get a... Uh, uh, given... It, it doesn't get enough, get enough credit for, like, the level design, but, like, there, there are some really cool instances where, like, you have different pathways which, um, like, reward you for thinking outside of the box or just doing some good old exploring and just finding a different different area of the level. It's all, it's all quality stuff, in my opinion. I, I feel like, like, I, I feel like, again, I feel like people don't give this game enough credit. And... Once again, comparing it to forces, in my opinion, is just laughable. It's, just, it's not even remotely like the same. And again, we. Oh, okay, that's different. Uh. I can do all this platforming here, or I can just go on the sides and spin dash up my spin dash my way up to the top quickly. And get also, and also get a red ring. Again, just really explorative level design. There's a lot. There's a lot of stuff you can find if you like bother to um, take the time to just look around the levels a, a bit more. And like I said, since we've seen the three main uh, boss like archetypes, if you will, we're now basically gonna loop around again. So now we're gonna fight another version of like the giant will boss, which honestly isn't isn't that much harder. And there's the generator. It seems like these guys are getting harder and harder to find. For a fact, these guys are getting harder and harder to beat. Please remember, all planets in Eggman's incredible interstellar amusement park are, as far as you know, wholly owned properties of Eggman Enterprises and its subsidiaries. All unauthorized photography, video reproduction, or shutting down of generators is strictly prohibited. Thank you. Eggman, I am going to save this planet, and I am going to free these aliens. No copyright law in the universe is going to stop me! We can save a lot of time and broken robots if you just quit now! <sighs> you try to be reasonable... Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 that's like a really famous line from this game. I. It kind of speaks for itself, I don't need to add anything to it. But yeah, this boss is ba it basically just Rotatatron again, but spinning platforms and stuff. It is, yeah, some lasers going on here. Yeah, you're just kind of invincible with the Spike Wisp, that's hilarious. And once he gets his shield out, oh. Yeah, he's done. <laughs> that was it. Yeah, just again with the the wisps act as like two hits as well. So pretty pathetic. Talking to the broken robot who can't hear you? Uh, maybe. That's between me and the robot. See, the important thing here is the alien planet is free. Absolutely. 
So, we can just forget about the whole talking to dead robots thing, right? Nope. I knew you'd say that. <laughs> oh, come on. I've seen you save the day a lot of times, but I've never seen you talk to a pile of metal. Touche. Huh. <sighs>